At this time, it'll begin pressurizing the propulsion system to increase the thrust of the system. Uh, it'll use that for all the maneuvering in the atmosphere we're about to do. Back to Harvey Tones. We are standing by for guidance start, the start of guided entry. <laughs> Nav can see the entering the atmosphere in the Doppler. We are beginning to feel the atmosphere uh, as we go in here. The vehicle has just reported via tones that it has started guided entry. At this time, the vehicle is beginning to steer its way to the target. Uh, it is starting its first bank reversal. First bank reversal complete. We have seen peak deceleration. We have passed through peak heating and peak deceleration. Uh, it is reporting that we are seeing G's on the order of uh, 11 to 12 Earth G's. Flight, GDSA. GDSA, flight, go. We are processing data from Odyssey. Yes. Bank reversal 2 is starting. We are now getting telemetry from Odyssey. All bank right. reversal 2 complete. <laughs> Copy bank reversal 2 complete. Thanks. Stand by flight. We have a connection, but we actually do not have any data yet. Copy. We can expect some intermittent contact at this time as the uh, signal gets increases go. to Universal respectable levels. There we go. We are now seeing and we have Odyssey. CDPs. Okay, copy. To and visualization is updated. The adventure and heading alignment. There we go. At this time, Curiosity is no longer trying to control how far it's flying downrange and is just heading directly for the target. End of range control, air used, minus 1.2 kilometers. Minus 1.2. 1.2. The EDL team is reporting that uh, we are, uh, that things look pretty good at the end of range control. We have control, we have converged uh, a lot of the error and we should be heading toward the target. Flight EDL, TDS warning is okay. Copy. Power non. We are seeing a tone from the one uh, indicating that we uh, have seen uh, we have seen heating on the heat shield uh, through the medley instrument. Uh, everything looks fine. This is as expected. During the setting alignment phase, we're flying almost horizontally like a plane. We're going about Mach 2.4 at an altitude of 17 kilometers or so. <laughs> <laughs> Vehicles reporting heartbeat tones again, uh, indicating that everything is fine during heading alignments. Uh, we are standing by for straighten up and fly right and parachute deploy. Vehicles continue to decelerate. We're down to about Mach 2. As a reminder, we should have parachute deploy around Mach 1.7. We're at 15 kilometers altitude. We've begun entry balance mass jettison. The predicted mid-distance downrange is 1.597 kilometers. EDL Ops, Odyssey Systems on EDL Ops. Parachute deploy. Parachute. Yes. Thrusters have been re-enabled. Uh, we will control our attitude on shoot. We are decelerating. Risk mode under our parachute are 20 to 30 We are at 150 meters per second. Dynamics phase. Come back again with uh, risk mode dynamics. Risk mode is nominal. We are at 9 kilometers and descending. Valid range. 
That shelter converge with a velocity correction of 0.7 meters a second. We've acquired the ground with the radar. An altitude of 8 kilometers. Feet shield step has separated where we found the ground. Tones due to earth occultation as expected. We're standing by to prime the Emily engines in preparation for powered flight. We're down to 90 meters per second at an altitude of 6.5 kilometers and descending. Flight EDL, we've got some Tweedo warnings. It is we in battle short mode, so I should power through them. Director Earth Communications at this time. We may have lost it already. We're down to 86 meters per second at an altitude of 4 kilometers and descending. We have lost act we've lost tones from Earth at this time. This is expected. Uh, We're continuing on Odyssey telemetry. Ground solution equals minus 10.8 meters, vertical velocity of minus 82.8 meters per second. We are priming target start enabled, standing by for back shell separation. Signal to Odyssey is still strong. We are in powered flight. Yes. We're at altitude of one kilometer descending, about 70 meters per second. Signal to Odyssey Control remains air. down to 50 meters per second, 500 meters in altitude. Yes. Standing by for sky crane. Constant velocity accordion nominal, altitude error 5.9 meters. We found a nice flat place. We're coming in ready for sky crane. Down to 10 meters per second, 40 meters altitude. Sky crane has started. Descending at about 0.75 meters per second as expected. Expecting bridle cut shortly. Tingle to us, you remain strong. Tango Delta nominal. Yep. Uh, you do a calm configuration. Rib is stable. Rib is stable. stable. Oh, UHF is good. Yes. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. <laughs> It's the real! It's 
Mr. Leo. Time we go. We can see a wheel. Down on Mars. This is actually adjusting the Oh my god. We'll do a proper hug on the other side. Keep watching, guys. Keep watching the screen. There's more stuff. Any minute now. Yes. No, 256. Okay, we're, okay. So here we are. We're going to start. Go ahead. Okay. So we have landed, We've, landed out at the time we thought we would, and we now have our first image. We have our first image. Um, this, we've got us a 64 by 64 thumbnail. The front, a rear has cam image. You can see the shadow there. Um, I'm, I'm not sure exactly which our orientation is of the vehicle, but uh, we're looking through it. Now, if you, I think in a, just a few minutes, we might get even a, a, two, a, a larger 250, 256 uh, frame uh, 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 pixel image um, of that same, same end. So we're looking at the shadow. See, the horizon is actually the distance. You can't really tell that. So we're looking actually at the shadow of the late afternoon sun. Uh, and uh, well, uh. So these are the rear house cams. These are the rear house cams. And, and it so does have a dust cover on it. It does point. have a dust cover, but it's the dust that covers the problem. It's the fact there's dust in the air because we've just blown dust all over the place with our descent engines. <laughs> Fantastic. So there could be more. There could be more. If we get, if we wait, we might get, oh yes! Ah. This is the high res, this is the 256 by 256 image. This is a higher res, you've seen dust particles on the window. Uh, you can see the horizon there in the background. And there is, there is the wheel of the rover safely on the surface of Mars. I can't believe it. This is unbelievable. We, should, we might get another one of these. And if we're lucky, before Odyssey goes away, we'll get two more of these same injuries going the other side of the vehicle. And also probably dusty. This is amazing. Curiosity's rover wheels, wheels exactly. on the surface of Mars. Yes. <laughs> oh wow! We, now we have another. Is another image coming down? This is a view looking the other direction. There's still it's still being processed. You'll see it in just a second here. This another. This is a another thumbnail image. Is that a shadow? That's the shadow of the of rover. Curiosity rover on the surface of Mars. Thank you. Thank you. The, the Odyssey transition is about to end. Uh, it's about to set below the peak of Mount Sharp very shortly. Uh, so this is about all the data we're going to get, but things look great. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you.